Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to add a custom ID to your form submissions. This is really useful when you want to locate and understand submission IDs by adding a prefix and a sequential number to it. So I'm going to show you how to add this to your form right now. All right, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started by creating a brand new form. So let's go into create a form and we'll start from scratch for this demo. Classic form. And let's drag in our basic elements. So in this case, we'll just ask for the name and the email. Now, what do we have to add to create our own custom ID submissions? Well, let's go into widgets and let's search for unique. And we're going to use this widget, unique ID. Let's go ahead and drag it here on the top. Now, be aware that we're able to visualize this, but it's not going to be viewable for the end user. Let me show you this really quickly. Let's go into preview form. And there we go. We're not able to view that widget. Let's turn it off to go into settings. Now, let's go ahead and type in something that we will understand. So in this case, we'll say unique ID and let's head on over to our properties. So this is where the property settings will go. This is really useful when we want to understand what the form is for. For example, if this form was to sell something, well, we can create invoice as the prefix. So for example, each time the submission is made, it's going to add this prefix and then the sequential numbers. We can use sequential numbers or random values. Let's start off with sequential numbers. So sequential numbers will start, for example, if the sequential number starts from zero, well, it's going to start from one, two, three, four, five. But if we go, for example, if we start at 100, well, it's going to start 101, 102, 103. Um, maybe people want to use this because you don't want to let users know that they are the first one to submit it or the first ones. So 100 would be a good start or 1000. Let's just go to 1001, 1002. Or maybe you are transferring from another form platform that you're using and you already have a sequential number. Well, you can start off from that sequential number, for example, 1045. And the next one will be 1046 number of digits to be used. In this case, it's four, but we could change it to more five, six, whatever you want to use. And that's how you would use sequential numbers. We also have random values. We can set the number of characters to be used. For example, as default, it's six, but we can use less or more. And we can include type of characters for the random values, numbers, uppercase and lowercase, just depending how you want to use it. So in this case, we'll use sequential numbers. And what we're going to do is let's fill out this form um, three times just for testing purposes to show you how these will displayed on submission IDs. So it's going to publish, open a new tab. And I will just randomly fill this out. OK, now I have randomly filled out three times this form. Let's go over to our submissions. So let's go back into our dashboard. Let's go into the submissions. Let's go into submissions right here. And this will open up job form tables. So in job form tables, we have our submissions right here. Now I mistakenly mistakenly refresh two times this one, but you can see it starts off with the prefix INV-01046. And then we go with sequential numbers. Okay, you can see that six, seven, eight, nine. And that's a prefix that we're using. Now we could change this prefix if we like. For in this case, we'd use the prefix as an example for invoices, but it could be something else. For example, let's go into edit. Let's go into our unique ID widget properties. Now let's use random values, but we're going to keep a prefix. In this case, we're going to say, uh, we'll just say form. That will be the prefix for this. Okay, let's go ahead and publish. And I'm going to fill it out three times really quickly. Okay, it's been submitted three times. Let's go ahead over to our submissions. So let's go back into our dashboard. And let's go into submissions for our form that we just tested out. So let's go into job form tables. And here we go. These are our submissions. Remember, we're using the prefix form slash, and these are random values. There we go. And that is how you add your custom ID to your forms. We thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.